Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you. Guys we're reading for the lovely star sign of Sagittarius now. Sag you're the last one this week so there's only one poem left in this little box okay. So I'm just going to tip it out and read what was left for you. And it says a trip, a fall, a broken bone is seen in the energy around you. Hospitals and emergency rooms will be prominent and out of the blue. A promotion or new job for a family member will be caused to celebrate and an apology from someone will come to you too late. So a trip, a fall, a broken bone is seen in the energy around you. Hospitals and emergency rooms will be prominent and out of the blue. Okay, so I feel that there's going to be news of somebody breaking a bone and it's um, sort of out of the blue. Okay, you, if it's not you directly, I feel it's going to be somebody that you'll hear around you that you're, you know, a friend or a family member. You'll say, oh God, I didn't realise, you know, <laughs> you might see them one week and then the next week you might see them all plastered up and thinking, my God, what's happened to you? Um, I feel there's a promotion or a new job offer coming in around you. If it's not you, it could be for a family member. Okay, and it's for celebration. I just feel it's for you though, Sag. I feel something's going to come out of the woodwork and where something's been lying very dormant, okay, on the job fronts, something's just going to come out of the blue and you'll get this offer and it will surprise you and it's like a celebration. But an apology, I feel like this is somebody from your past, okay, I feel like this is somebody that where you drifted from, you haven't spoken to for a while and it's like you get this message out of the blue, how are you doing? Um, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you look at it thinking, well, how do I take this? It's a bit too late now to apologise. It's I've got that song in my head now. Um, I don't know who sang it, actually. It's just gone out of my head, but I will put it underneath. It's too late to apologise. Too late to apologise. Oh, the name of the group's on, on my tip of my tongue, but we won't go there but i will put it in the description link below i'll probably it'll probably come in my head as i'm doing this reading for you but let's shake the dice and see what your numerology numbers are this week so we've got number eight okay zero eight the eighth of october could be uh, significant for you it can also be um a birthday or an anniversary uh, of a passing around that time it can also be a birthday or an anniversary here on the earth plane Eight, obviously zero plus eight comes down to eight. So eight is your synchronicity number this week. Check it out online uh, for your angel message. There's loads out there. So you'll just be drawn to the one that means to you, the link that's drawn to you. So eight is synchronicities of eight, 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 eight. Okay. Um, for you to look out for this week. So let's shake the dice and we'll get the first part of your message. And we've got pack number five coming out for Sagittarius okay Sag and we've got this week the overall energy is awareness and we've got brown in this card it's about getting yourself grounded not away with the fairies okay uh, come back to reality touch back to base and it says practice present moment awareness the meaning you yearn for lives in the ever present now and I've always said this, with us as humans, we dwell in our past, we fear the future, and while we're doing all that, we're missing about what's going on now. There's no future, because in, in a week's time, that week is the now, so there's only ever the now. So it's sort of saying, I feel like I'm picking up with some Sagittarius whose minds run away with them, and it's like, you know, to the fact that they're worrying about an appointment maybe a month away and it's like, oh, I've got to go to the dentist, oh, I've got to go to the doctors, oh, I've got that appointment. Don't let it consume your mind. Let it go until the time is in the now. This is what we've got to learn to deal with. The clarifier that comes out with this is two of wands. And this is with the grounding energy. I feel like you've been stuck between a rock and a hard place of light. But you're trying to change your environment, shape how you want your future to look. Okay. There's a difference when you you know you you want to put plans in place. 
and goals to achieve. But there's something that you'll want to shout off the rooftops this week. There's something that you'll want to shout off the rooftops. Let's have a look what your inner psyche is feeling. And it's the page of Earth. There's a new adventure here. This is your spirit saying, right, you've got to the top of one mountain. Let's get ready. And there's a new adventure. You're going for gold on something. I always look at this sort of scepter as going for gold or you've struck gold or you will strike gold you've gone out on a limb here you've gone out to the edge on something Sag but it's in its first infancy stages because there's only small buds coming here on the crown that he wears venturing to pastures, pastures new and your spirit is just getting you prepared to say, right, get ready for the journey. The universe card comes in and it's, wow, building blocks. That's a positive sign because whatever in the infancy stage or whatever's going to be presented to you, you can build on this. And it's like putting a projection out, having that goal, that aim. Two and eight comes to a ten of completion. So there's, you've got something completed something done and dusted but you're going to start on this new your spirit is just saying get ready get ready because something's coming in such so let's get your animal spirit cards i want to say you're feeling on top of the world about something or you will be this is a future prediction and i feel you will be on top of the world you're setting down foundations for something this is the alchemical sign of Earth, which goes with the awareness card, as I said. Your head's been on overload, okay? Um, but we're going into this energy of the alchemical sign of air, and it's the bat. Going into something blind, okay, because bats can't see very well. Going into something blind, but take it slow. I want to say, because there's a red here on the wings, don't get going too fast at something. Navigate slowly. But you need to get rid of this. Oh, your mind's on, you know, too many thought processes going on to analyse and you've got to get your mind clear. Let's just shake the dice again and get the second part of this reading. And we've got number one. So your spirit messages this week, Sag, we have nature. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalisation and strength. Nature has much to offer, so take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. Sometimes we need to take ourselves out of a busy environment, okay? So it's like to say sometimes we get caught up in too much work ethic and it's like to say sometimes we need to get out and about and stand and stare and connect with nature. Find that time for you. I want to say some you time. We've also got you can spot dark entities because they act like they're never wrong and everything is about them. You don't need them in your life. So I feel there's hangers on here. There's... Um, people around you this could be to do with that person who's going to come back in with the apology where it's too late too late to apologize as I was saying with that song it's like you realize no I've done that that I've been there once I don't need these kind of energies around me so you're sort of picking out uh, the wheat from the chaff okay here on a people sense don't let people bring you down don't let people play on your emotions either Sag and then we've got lost and found on the fairy realms. What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realised we lost. So I feel like this is that old scenario of you put something up and then you come to look for it and you can't find it. And it's one of these scenarios this week where you're going to come across something and you think, my God, that's where that went. It's that kind of simple scenario. So let's just get your dream decoder card for this week, Sag, to end this reading on. 
else have we got for Sagittarius? Else have we got for Sag? Wow. Oh, gosh. Car out of control or speeding. Car represents your path in life or the direction you're currently taking. I want to say be careful, as it said, for uh, speeding. You could end up with a speeding ticket for some of you or somebody around you. But for some of you, there's something about the gaming world here. Something about the gaming world where you may have been out of it. Um, and this is where I said for some of you, you could be approached. You know, you could be a professional gamer for some of you. Okay, because it does go on out there. And you may have been off the circuit for a while. There's something where you've been out of the loop or out of um, a circuit with your natural skills and abilities the job that you love doing okay um but it's coming back around you get a second chance at this but for some of you heed the driving heed i want to say hidden cameras and speeding so all my lovely sagis i hope uh, some of that resonates don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs because sometimes those messages can resonate more than your sun signs any likes comments subscribe shares guys keeps my channel growing and until next time you take care of yourself bye then Thank you.